Hi everyone, Dinesh Sirasena here, and today we're going to be talking about injections into the pubic symphysis. As with my previous video, I tend to have the patient lying in a supine position. You maintain the patient's dignity by wrapping a towel around their legs, but you do need to expose the pubic symphysis adequately. Depending on body habitus, you may want to extend the hips slightly by lowering the end of the bed. When undertaking the injection, I tend to use a linear transducer that's of relatively high resolution. That's because you want to see the anatomy as clearly as possible. When undertaking the injection, I tend to use an outer plane approach. I bring the needle perpendicular to the skin and as close to the transducer as possible and I want to guide the needle directly down into the pubic symphysis. And this is what you're hoping to see and achieve. So you should see the pubic rami with the pubic symphysis sitting in between, and you want to see the needle guide directly down into the pubic symphysis. When you are in this area, you can draw back to make sure you haven't injured any blood vessels, and then you should be able to see the injectate flowing directly into the pubic symphysis. Depending on what's available to you, you may decide to do a steroid injection for pain symptoms, or in clinical practice I've found that PRP helps a lot with pubic symphysis related pain. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging and interventions. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks again, and I hope to see you all very soon.